Tuxedo OS 2 is an Ubuntu-based distro specifically made for Tuxedo Computer's own line of desktop and laptop computers. Tuxedo Computers is based in Germany. These computers are reasonably priced, but be ready to pay a 19% tax. And if you are in the United States like I am, shipping is about 108 bucks. I guess that's not too bad. If you live in the UK, it's only 10 bucks though. Tuxedo OS users get to enjoy the latest KDE Plasma and its desktop environment. As of July 4th, 2023, the Plasma version is 5.27.6. Tuxedo uses a semi-rolling release. The Tuxedo OS distribution is made for Tuxedo hardware, but is not exclusive to it. You can download the ISO and install it on your computer, which is what I did. The only drawback, and it is not really a significant one, is that you won't be able to use the Tuxedo Control Center. But this is no big deal, as KDE comes with lots of its own tools, and you can also download what you need from places like flathub.org. Tuxedo is based on Kubuntu, minus the snaps. It is more stable than Kubuntu and has new software. So what's the difference? They have their own repositories where you can obtain software and drivers and anything else that you might need. Tuxedo does not use Ubuntu's default kernel but instead comes with its own custom kernel in order to provide better software support. Not only for its own computer lineup but for a large number of computer hardware combinations. That being said, if you want a better driver support than what Ubuntu can provide, this just may be an option for you. Additionally, Tuxedo OS comes with Flatpak support right out of the box. A welcome feature for many Linux desktop users. Tuxedo OS comes with the Linux kernel 6.1. After installing Tuxedo on my four-year-old Acer inspired desktop that you see here, I ran the updates and it updated to kernel 6.2. This is from the Tuxedo computer website here. The specifically developed operating system Tuxedo OS has been available on the Tuxedos since last year and work on it is ongoing. The OS is specifically adapted and tailored to the Tuxedo hardware so that the hardware is used optimally. At the same time, it can also be used with non-Tuxedo hardware and thus offers users the opportunity to benefit from Tuxedo's work. The background to this is the interest and contribution to the Linux and open source community. Other innovative features include KDE apps 22.12.2, KDE frameworks 5.103.0, Mesa graphics stack 22.3.6, Firefox 110.0, Pipewire Audio 0.3.66 QT Libraries 5.15.8 Functional settings for a desktop firewall and extended range of functions of Tuxedo Auto Repair so After I got Tuxedo OS installed, what I did is I did some tweaks on my desktop changed up the theme a little bit and uh, change the icons to, I believe this one is called UOS, if I'm not mistaken. You can check that out real quick. Go to Quick Settings, System Settings. Let's go to Appearance. And Icons. And... Okay, these are actually the Fluent icons. Okay. Um, I got UOS here slightly different. Those are pretty nice too. If I'm not mistaken, those are the ones that are used in deep in OS. But anyway, I changed some things around. Um, the global theme that I put on here that I'm using right now. Well, actually, no, it's uh, I haven't downloaded any themes other than the Numix theme. I really didn't like that one. That's this one right here. A lot of orange going on and stuff. Uh, right now, it's just on the Tuxedo Dark theme. So. It's actually uh, pretty good. I'm going to leave it like that for a while. But it's working pretty well. 
and we'll go ahead and open up the terminal we'll run htop and i'll show you so a few minutes ago it was running at 1.79 gigs of ram being used right now it's 2.05 for some reason uh, i do have obs studio running right now recording this screen so that's probably why it's taking all that but i have 16 gigs of ram so pretty fine uh, like, like i said this is an older desktop it's about four years old and it has a quad core intel i3 processor but this os is running like super smooth on this computer i was kind of surprised it's running really nice So I got you know a few different things installed already that I usually use. OBS Studio is one. Uh, GIMP that you see right here is another one. And uh, it's you know working flawlessly at when it when it renders the uh, or exports the final PNG image that I do. Um, you know comes up pretty good. And that's how I make the thumbnails. Uh, so I've installed apps that i normally use on my linux desktops and laptops um, i have run them they work great i've seen like literally no issues of course it's only been three days that i've been running this but yeah it's working working pretty good i got uh hating live that i used to make the videos and you can see the project i'm working on right now is this right here and uh working great you know the the screens are the windows are opening and closing very snappily and uh, i'm pretty satisfied with it so we'll see how long it lasts with this i am a person that ends up distro hopping all the time um but right before this i was using uh, mint linux mint 21.1 and uh good distro i just missed the kd plasma desktop so much that i ended up going back to it so speaking of um mint i have actually have vert manager installs right here and i've got mint 21.1 installed inside this virtual machine and uh i'm going to run that Linux Mint 21.2. I'll go ahead and open it so we can see what's going on. And uh, it's running really well. Now, if you want to know how to install um, Vert Manager on an Ubuntu based distribution, which Tuxedo is, then uh, I've got a video on that. I'll leave the link in the description as well if you want to check that out. You log in here. And as you can see, I don't have any error messages come up. Working great. Let's see, I have, let me go ahead and maximize this. And so now you can see I'm running Linux Mint. And I just have it um, installed so I can uh, still play around with it, maybe try some things out, test the new software. This actually, as I said before, I was running Linux Mint 21.1. This one is uh, 21.21.2 right here. Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. It's this is the beta version, so I installed it so I can try it out. Um, it seems to be almost the same. Uh, there's some differences, like the uh, icons are different, and I haven't really seen a whole lot of difference, honestly. But it runs really nice as always. So. So there's that so her manager works really well on this distro on this machine like I said it's an older machine it's not the greatest machine ever but it works works good so I'm satisfied so far with tuxedo and uh, I, you know seems to be really good so um, if you want to uh, if you want to check it out then you can go to their website and download it See Tuxedo OS download. 
I should have bookmarked this, but I didn't. But if you go to the website um, and you get to the latest builds, then um, let's see, you can download from right here. And they're always updating. This is a semi rolling release, as I said earlier. So the, the one I downloaded was as of July 4th. This one, the one that's available right now, is uh, from yesterday. So 2023, 07, 06. That's this one right here. You can just download that right there and try it out. So I've already got it, so I'm not going to download it again. But this has got my recommendation. If you want to try this out, I really highly recommend it. So yeah, if you want to check it out, um, check it out. It's good stuff. So that's all I have for today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and we will see y'all later.